This case study for Sony is brought to you by Dominique Turnbow and Paulette Wilkinson, students in 795A at San Diego State University in fall 2012. Headquartered in San Diego, Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated provides a variety of electronics for consumers. Sony specializes in a variety of areas in the video game industry through its gaming console PlayStation and PlayStation Portable or PSP. Sony carries out research and development, production, and sales of hardware and software for the PlayStation. Sony also develops and publishes video game titles. Sony is composed of several subsidiaries covering its biggest markets, which are North America, Europe, and Asia. Phil is an instructional designer at Sony. He acts as a go-between multiple internal departments and numerous external studios. Phil provides training to Sony game testers and the studios. Currently, Phil teaches new game testers in Quality Assurance, or QA, how to do their job well, which in turn helps the studios. More specifically, he teaches game testers how to use DevTrack, a program that allows them to organize software bug reports, which are then sent to the studios. Phil also trains the studios on how to receive the bug reports by way of DevTrack. Phil has just begun developing Training for LAMS, a program that helps the studios and QA with localization testing. Localization allows a website or software to be adapted to a different version depending on where the user is connecting. For example, Sony sells its Uncharted video game series in Europe and needs to make sure that the game's dialogue translates correctly to languages other than English. Phil and his team, Learning and Development, provide training to Sony support services, which includes QA and IT. In turn, these departments support the work of Sony Studios and second-party studios that publish games for the Sony platforms. Recently, Phil was moved into a new role with more responsibility. Phil has three goals. Identify new training opportunities. Move from on-demand to providing a persistent catalog of courses. And measure training needs and successes among his training opportunities. Currently, Phil provides training on demand. He wants to be proactive and create a catalog of courses, but due to the current complicated state of things, he is having difficulty identifying training opportunities. There are many challenges standing in the way of Phil achieving his goals. Phil has limited internal visibility to project schedules. Without seeing project schedules, Phil doesn't know where a game is in the development process. Unfortunately, Phil doesn't have visibility into the workings of the numerous studios with which Sony works. In addition, each studio has a unique culture. Currently, studios only request training when they are told that they have to use DevTrack. Each of these factors make it difficult for Phil to identify possible training opportunities and limits his availability to be proactive. Phil's current projects highlight several performance issues. The first issue is motivation for training, specifically for DevTrack, the game defect tracking tool that Sony requires game testers and studios to use. Phil trains new Sony employees as well as the studios how to use DevTrack. However, the studios don't want to use or aren't familiar with DevTrack, so as of now, DevTrack training is a reactive measure. The second issue has to do with communication. Communication between Sony and the many studios with which Sony works is poor, and Phil has limited insight into their workings. Third, Phil has noticed that the studios are unclear about Sony's QA methodology. For example, studios don't understand why Sony QA rejects a game, or why QA requires that some bugs be fixed, but other bugs are allowable. Finally, Phil needs to ensure that new Sony game testers are successful part of which is training them the Sony way of doing things. We recommend that Phil perform a gap and cause analysis to identify all gaps in performance and learn about the underlying cause of the performance issues. For example, run reports for DevTrack to determine who the super users, that is the game testers, of DevTrack are. Then interview them to learn about the performance issues. For example, what problems they see on a regular basis. They could also be beneficial with the job analysis, if needed. 
Additionally, as part of the analysis, Phil could ask the Super Users managers what issues they face with the studios. One of Phil's goals is to identify new training opportunities. Phil has already identified two, LAMS training and training about the game release process. To identify additional training opportunities, we recommend that Phil periodically attend pre-production meetings at Sony to gain insight and information about Sony's game release schedules. We also recommend that Phil meet with Sony managers to determine hiring trends, for example, in preparation for the holiday rush. This way he can be proactive in providing training. For the second goal, we have two solutions to offer Phil. The first is the Sony Certified Partners Program. With this solution, Phil would provide studios the option to have their employees become Sony Certified Partners. Phil would create a curriculum for DevTrack, LAMS, and the Sony submission process. If a certain percentage of the studio's employees become certified, the studio would receive pre-submission screens, priority QA review by Sony, enabling faster turnaround, and lower fees for review cycles and software patches. Another solution we propose for the second goal is the Studio Rewards Program. In this program, studios would earn status levels by working the Sony way. Working the Sony way means following Sony processes, submitting games with cleaner code, and requiring fewer QA review cycles. For example, if a studio uses DevTrack and the majority of their games require two or fewer Sony QA review cycles, the studio would receive a higher reward status. Each status level has rewards such as pre-submission screens, priority QA review by Sony, lower fees for review cycles and software patches, and special packaging on the studio's games, which would attract more buyers. Phil's third goal is to measure the success of training needs. We recommend measuring this against the current performance of game testers identified in the gap analysis. This could be accomplished by comparing DevTrack reports before and after solution implementation. From these, Phil could identify the percentage of uptake or buy-in to the reward program. Phil could also interview Sony managers to find out if communication issues were resolved by implementing the solutions. Because Phil can get data about game tester performance from the training software, we would also recommend that Phil follow up with an effective survey for game testers to see how they feel about the DevTrack training and other training offered through the rewards program for example, LAMS, the game release process, and so on. Measuring training in this way, Phil will address Donald Kirkpatrick's four levels of evaluation. Through the survey of game testers, he will get a sense of learners' reaction to the training. Learning will be assessed throughout the course. Change in on-the-job performance behavior will be addressed by interviewing Sony managers. If testers are effectively trained in the Sony way, Business results should show this through fewer errors and faster release schedules for games. Our recommended solutions address Phil's goals and performance issues. The Sony Certified Partners Program or the Studio Rewards Program provide motivation to the studios to participate in training, enhance communication between Sony and the studios, and game testers are trained in the Sony way.